Chapter 7 Electricity and Electrical Safety Enthusiasm is the electricity of life. Gordon Parks Learning objectives after completing this chapter, you will be able to 1. Explain electricity and electrical safety 2. Outline electrical theory 3. Practice electrical equipment safety 4. Identify electrotherapy modalities 5. Discuss light energy Explain electricity and electrical safety. You decided to enter this field because you love beauty and wellness and all of the services it offers to clients, from hairstyling and hair coloring, to facials, massages, and nail wraps. How many of these services could you offer without using electricity? As you study this chapter, you will learn how important it is for beauty professionals to have a basic working knowledge of electricity. Beauty professionals should study and have a thorough understanding of electricity because beauty professionals rely upon a variety of electrical appliances. Knowing what electricity and electrical safety devices are and how they work will allow professionals to use their tools wisely and safely. Comma A basic understanding of electricity will enable them to properly use and care for their equipment and tools. Comma Electricity use impacts other aspects of the salon, spa, or barbershop environment, such as lighting and the temperature of heating tools. It impacts all of the services beauty professionals offer their clients. Comma Advanced electrical and light therapy machines require a foundational understanding of electrical theory to be operated safely and effectively. Outline Electrical Theory If you look at lightning on a stormy night, what you see are the effects of electricity. If you plug in a poorly wired appliance and sparks fly out of the socket, you will also see the effects of electricity. You are not really seeing electricity. However, instead, you are seeing its visual effects on the surrounding air. Electricity does not occupy space or have mass, weight, so it is not matter. If it is not matter, then what is it? Electricity e electricity is the movement of electrons from one atom to another along a conductor. Electricity is a form of energy that, when in motion, exhibits magnetic, chemical, or thermal effects. An electric current, e electric current, is the flow of electricity along a conductor. All materials can be classified as conductors or non-conductors depending on the ease with which an electric current can be transmitted through them. A conductor, conductor, is any material that conducts electricity. Most metals are good conductors. This means that electricity will pass through the material easily. Copper is a particularly good conductor and is used in electric wiring and electric motors. Pure, distilled, water is a poor conductor, but the ions usually found in ordinary water, such as tap water or a river or a lake, make it a good conductor. This explains why you should not swim in a lake during an electrical storm. A non-conductor non-conductor, also known as an insulator insulator, is a material that does not transmit electricity. Rubber, silk, wood, glass, and cement are good insulators. Electric wires are composed of twisted metal threads. The conductor, covered with a rubber or plastic coating. The non-conductor or insulator. A complete electric circuit. Complete e electric circuit, is the path that negative and positive electric currents take from the generating source through the conductors and back to the generating source. Types of electric current There are two types of electric current. Direct current. Direct current, abbreviated as DC, is a constant, even flowing current that travels in one direction only and is produced by chemical means. Flashlights, cell phones, and cordless tools use the direct current produced by batteries. The battery in your car stores electric energy. Without it, your car would not start. An inverter. Inverter is an apparatus that changes direct current to alternating current. Inverters usually have a plug and a cord. They allow you to use appliances outside of your salon, spa, barber shop, or home that normally would have to be plugged into an electric wall outlet. The phone charger in a car is an example of an inverter. Figure 7-1. Figure 7-1 A complete direct current DC electric current. Comma alternating current. Alternate time current. Abbreviated as AC, is a rapid and interrupted current, 
flowing first in one direction and then in the opposite direction. It is produced by mechanical means and changes direction 60 times per second. Corded hair dryers, curling irons, electric files, and table lamps that plug into a wall outlet use alternating current. A rectifier rectifier is an apparatus that changes alternating current to direct current. Cordless electric clippers and phone chargers use a rectifier to change the AC from an electric wall outlet to the DC needed to recharge their batteries. Table 7 1 outlines the differences between direct current and alternating current. Direct current DC constant. Even flow travels in one direction. Table 7 1. Direct current and alternating current. Alternating current AC rapid and interrupted flow travels in two directions. Produced by chemical means. Produced by mechanical means. Jacob L Electrical measurements. The flow of an electric current can be compared to water flowing through a hose. Without pressure, neither water nor electricity would flow. A volt. Volt. Abbreviated as V and also known as voltage. Voltage is the unit that measures the pressure or force that pushes electric current forward through a conductor. Figure 7-2. Car batteries are 12 volts. Normal electric wall sockets that power your tools are 120 volts. Most air conditioners and clothes dryers run on 240 volts. A higher voltage indicates more power. Low voltage high voltage. Figure 7 2 volts measure the pressure or force that pushes the electric current forced through a conductor. Comma an ampere A ampere, abbreviated as A and also known as amp AMP, is the unit that measures the strength of an electric current. Just as a hose must be large enough to carry the amount of water flowing through it, a wire must be large enough to carry the amount of electricity amps flowing through it. A hair dryer rated at 12 amps must have a cord that is twice as thick as one rated at 6 amps. Otherwise, the cord might overheat and start a fire. A higher amp rating indicates a greater number of electrons and a stronger current. Figure 7-3. Figure 7-3 amps measure the strength of the electric current. Low amperage. High amperage. Comma a milliampere milli e a ampere, abbreviated as ma, is 11,000 of an ampere. The current used for facial and scalp treatments is measured in milliamperes. An ampere current would be much too strong. If used for facials and scalp treatments, an ampere current would damage the skin or body. Adissashaturstock.com Comma an ohm ohm, abbreviated as O, is a unit that measures the resistance of an electric current. Current will not flow through a conductor unless the force, volts, is stronger than the resistance, ohms. Did you know? 1 kilowatt hour will power a television for 3 hours, run a 100 watt bulb for 12 hours, and keep an electric clock ticking for 3 months. Comma A watt W A H T, abbreviated as W, is a unit that measures how much electric energy is being used in 1 second. A 40 watt light bulb uses 40 watts of energy per second. Comma A kilowatt, kilowatt, abbreviated as KW is 1000 watts. The electricity in your house is measured in kilowatts per hour. KWH. A 1000 watt, 1 kilowatt, hair dryer uses 1000 watts of energy per second. Check and define the two types of electric current. Practice electrical equipment safety. When working with electricity, you must always be concerned with your own safety, as well as the safety of your clients. All electrical equipment should be inspected regularly to determine whether it is in safe working order. Careless electrical connections and overloaded circuits can result in an electrical shock, a burn, or even a serious fire. Safety Devices A wire that is not large enough to carry the electrical current passing through it will overheat. The heating element in a hair dryer or curling iron heats up because it is not large enough to carry the electric current. Heating elements are designed to overheat and are safe when used properly. However, when the electrical wires in a wall overheat, they can cause a fire. If excessive current passes through a circuit or a fuse, the circuit breaker turns off the circuit to prevent overheating. These are the electrical safety devices that you may encounter when working in a salon, spa, or barbershop. A fuse, FYOOZ. 
prevents excessive current from passing through a circuit. It is designed to blow out or melt when the wire becomes too hot from overloading the circuit with too much current, such as when faulty equipment or too many appliances are connected to an electric source. To re-establish the circuit, disconnect the appliance, check all connections and insulation, insert a new fuse, then reconnect the appliance. Fuses are often found in older buildings that have not been renovated or modernized. Comma A Circuit Breaker Circuit Break R is a switch that automatically interrupts or shuts off an electric circuit at the first indication of an overload. Circuit breakers have replaced fuses in modern electric circuits. They have all the safety features of fuses but do not require replacement and can simply be reset by switching the circuit breaker back on. A hair dryer has a circuit breaker located in the electric plug that is designed to protect both professional and client in case of an overload or short circuit. When a circuit breaker shuts off, you should disconnect the appliance and check all connections and insulation before resetting it. Figure 7-4 A. B. Figure 7-4 Fuse Box A. And Circuit Breakers B. Grounding Grounding G. R. O. W. N. D. I. N completes an electric circuit and carries the current safely away. It is another important way to promote electrical safety. All electrical appliances must have at least two rectangular electrical connections, or prongs, on the plug. This is called a two-prong plug. The two prongs supply electric current to the circuit. If you look closely at the two prongs, you will see that one is slightly larger than the other. This guarantees that the plug can be inserted into an outlet only one way and protects you and your client from an electric shock in the event of a short circuit. For added protection, some appliances especially ones with metal casings, have a third circular electric connection that is a grounding pin. This is called a three-prong plug. The grounding pin is designed to guarantee a safe path for electricity and protect the user from electrical shock even if a wire comes loose. Appliances with a third circular grounding pin offer the most protection for you and your clients. Figure 7-5 Figure 7-5 Two-prong and three-prong plugs Two-prong plug Three-prong plug Ground fault interrupters A ground fault interrupter G-R-O-W-N-D fault interrupter GFI is designed to protect from electrical shock by interrupting a household circuit when there is a leak in the circuit. GFIs are required by the electrical code for receptacles in bathrooms, kitchens, and some outside receptacles. A GFI is designed to detect currents of a few milliampers and trip a breaker at the receptacle or at the breaker panel to avoid a shock hazard. When it is working properly, a GFI has a green light that turns red when it trips. Once the appliance is removed from the socket, it can be reset with a reset button on the panel. Figure 7-6. Reset test. Reset test. Figure 7-6 GFI outlets. Underwriters Laboratories Underwriters Laboratories UL certifies the safety of electrical appliances, curling irons, hair dryers, electric clippers, UV lamps, pedicure chairs, heating mitts, electric files, and more should be UL approved. This certifies that they are safe when used according to the manufacturer's directions. Always look for the UL symbol on electric appliances and take the time to read and follow the manufacturer's directions. Figure 77. Figure 77 UL symbol, as it appears on electrical devices. Activity gadget inspection. Inspect any electric items in your kit or equipment in the classroom for UL approval. Also look for any labels, precautions and warnings on these tools and take notes on what you find. Discuss your observations as a class. Guidelines for safe use of electrical equipment. Shop fires are often caused by electrical problems, such as shorts in the wiring of the building or improper use of appliances, extension cords, and plugs. Careful attention to electrical safety involves following recommended UL guidelines manufacturer's directions, and the safety instructions and policies of your establishment. The guidelines below will help you use electricity and electrical equipment safely. All the electrical appliances you use should be UL certified. Read all instructions carefully before using any piece of electrical equipment. 
Comma always register electrical appliances with the manufacturer so that you will be notified of any safety recalls immediately. Comma disconnect all appliances when not in use. Pull on the plug, not the cord, to disconnect. Comma disconnect all electrical appliances prior to cleaning them. Never poke hairpins or wires through any part of an appliance, including lint screens. Comma inspect all electrical equipment regularly. Keep all wires, plugs, and electrical equipment in good repair. Do not use cords that have exposed wiring in any part of the cord or where it attaches to the appliance. Comma use only one plug in each outlet. Overloading may cause the circuit breaker to pop. If more than one plug is needed in an area, use a power strip with a surge protector. Figure 7-8. Don't do figure 7-8. Use only one plug per outlet on a power strip or on the wall. Comma avoid contact, for both you and your client, with water and metal surfaces when using electricity and do not handle electrical equipment with wet hands or while standing on a wet floor. Comma keep electrical cords off the floor and away from everyone's feet. Getting tangled in a cord could cause you or your client to trip. Comma do not leave your client unattended while the client is connected to an electrical device. Comma do not attempt to clean around electric outlets while equipment is plugged in. Comma do not touch two metal objects at the same time if either is connected to an electric current. Comma do not step on or place objects on electrical cords. Do not allow electrical cords to become twisted. This can cause a short circuit. Comma do not alter a three-prong plug to fit into a two-prong outlet. Do not attempt to repair electrical appliances. If you have a problem with electric wiring or an electrical device or appliance, tell your supervisor immediately. Take the device to a repair store, or call a certified electrician or repair representative to resolve the issue. Comma If you see sparks when plugging or unplugging an appliance, do not use the appliance or outlet until it has been approved by a certified electrician as safe to use. Comma verify regularly that fire extinguishers are appropriate for electrical fires, are not expired, and that you are comfortable with using one. Comma remove lint from clothes dryers before each load to reduce the chance of fire. Activity hazard sweep. Evaluate the electrical safety of your home or classroom. What safety devices can you find? GFI, circuit breakers, surge protectors, etc. What are some potential hazards? How might you address or minimize these electrical hazards? Share your findings as a class. What to do in an electrical emergency? Virtually all electrical incidents in a salon, spa, or barbershop environment will be related to low voltage, less than 500 watt appliances. Low voltage shocks are rarely critical, but they can be quite painful and dangerous to some individuals. It is important that you take signs of wear and tear seriously and replace or discontinue using appliances or outlets as soon as you notice these signs. If you receive a light shock sensation while using, turning on or off, or plugging or unplugging an electrical appliance, comma stop using the appliance immediately and turn it completely off. Unplug it from the wall or turn off the circuit breaker to that outlet. Replace the appliance or have it repaired by an authorized repair representative. Comma if similar issues occur with other appliances in the same outlet, discontinue use of that outlet until approved for use by a certified electrician. If you drop an electrical appliance in water. Comma if the outlet is GFI protected, it will kill the circuit immediately and you may unplug the appliance from the wall. After releasing the appliance. Do not have one hand in the water and one at the outlet if the outlet is still live. Your body will conduct the electricity. Comma if the outlet is not GFI protected, go to the breaker box and flip the circuit off. If you are unsure which circuit controls that outlet, it is better to momentarily shut off power to the entire shop while you fix the situation. Once the power is off. Unplug the item and then restore power. Comma never use an appliance that has been dropped in water. When to seek medical care after an electrical shock. Comma anytime during pregnancy. If you have burns on the skin, 
particularly those that are open or do not heal well over time. Comma if you are not current on your tetanus immunizations given every five years to adults. Check in what are at least five steps to take for electrical safety? Identify electrotherapy modalities. The use of electrical currents to treat the skin is commonly referred to as electrotherapy, e electrotherapy. Currents used in electrical facial and scalp treatments are called modalities, modalities. Each modality produces a different effect on the skin. An electrode, e electrode, also known as a probe, is an applicator for directing electric current from an electrotherapy device to the client's skin. It is usually made of carbon, glass, or metal. Each modality requires two electrodes, one negative and one positive, to conduct the flow of electricity through the body. The only exception to this rule is the Tesla high-frequency current, which uses a single electrode. Caution. Older buildings and homes may have two-prong wall outlets. Some equipment and tools have three-prong plugs. Never tamper with the wiring of a building or home, wall outlets, or plugs to make them fit your equipment and tools. Adapters are available. If it is appropriate for you to use one, consult the manufacturer and your local hardware store about whether you can use an adapter and, if so, what type of an adapter is recommended. Polarity. Polarity polarity refers to the poles of an electric current either positive or negative. The electrodes on many electrotherapy devices have one negatively charged pole and one positively charged pole. The positive electrode is called an anode, an OHD. The anode is usually red and is marked with a P or a plus, plus, sign. The negative electrode is called a cathode, cathode. It is usually black and is marked with an N or a minus, sign, figure 7-9. The negatively charged electrons from the cathode flow to the positively charged anode. If the electrodes are not marked, ask your instructor, manager, or supervisor to help you determine the positive and negative poles. Figure 7 9 anode, plus, and cathode. Modalities. The main modalities used in beauty and wellness services are galvanic current, microcurrent, and Tesla high frequency current. Galvanic current, galvanic current. Galvanic current is a constant and direct current, having a positive and negative pole, that produces chemical changes when it passes through the tissues and fluids of the body. Did you know? Galvanic current is named after Luigi Galvani, an Italian physician, physicist, biologist, and philosopher, 1737 to 1798. His studies about electric charges and how they affected the muscles of animals helped others to develop the galvanic current machines that are used in salons and spas today. Two different chemical reactions are possible with galvanic current, depending on the polarity positive or negative, that is used. Table 7-2. The active electrode, active e electrode, is the electrode used on the area to be treated. The inactive electrode, inactive e electrode is the opposite pole from the active electrode. The effects produced by the positive pole are the exact opposite of those produced by the negative pole. Galvanic current is used to infuse water-soluble products into unbroken skin. The scientific term for this is phoresis figure 710. Iontophoresis iantophoresis is the process of infusing water-soluble products into the skin with the use of electric current such as the use of the positive and negative poles of a galvanic machine. Cataphoresis cataphoresis infuses an acidic positive product into deeper tissues, using galvanic current from the positive pole toward the negative pole. Ulase to Table 7-2 Effects of galvanic current positive pole Anode cataphoresis Produces acidic reactions closes the pores Soothes nerves. Decreases blood supply contracts blood vessels. Hardens and firms tissues. Negative pole. Cathode anaphoresis. Produces alkaline reactions opens the pores. Stimulates and irritates the nerves increases blood supply expands blood vessels. Softens tissues figure 710A treatment using galvanic current. Caution.
Do not use negative galvanic current on skin with broken capillaries or pustular acne conditions or on clients with high blood pressure or metal implants. Anaphoresis and aphoresis infuses an alkaline negative product into the tissues from the negative pole toward the positive pole. Disincrustation, desincrustation, a form of anaphoresis, is a process used to soften and emulsify grease deposits, oil, and blackheads in the hair follicles. Disincrustation is frequently used to treat acne, milia, small, white cyst like pimples, and comedones blackheads and whiteheads. Microcurrent microcurrent, microcurrent, is an extremely low level of electricity that mirrors the body's natural electrical impulses. Microcurrent can be used for iontophoresis, firming, toning, and soothing skin. It also can help heal inflamed tissue, such as acne. Newer microcurrent devices have negative and positive polarity in one probe, not two probes. This allows the client to relax rather than having to hold on to a probe during the service or treatment. Microcurrent does not travel throughout the entire body. It serves only the specific area being treated. Microcurrent can be effective in the following ways. Comma improves blood and lymph circulation. Produces acidic and alkaline reactions. Opens and closes hair follicles and pores. Increases muscle tone. Restores elasticity. Reduces redness and inflammation. Minimizes healing time for acne lesions. Improves the natural protective barrier of the skin. Increases metabolism. When microcurrent is used during aging skin treatments, it may give your client's skin a softer, firmer, more hydrated appearance. Caution. As with all electric current devices, microcurrent should not be used on clients who have a pacemaker, epilepsy, cancer, phlebitis or thrombosis or who are pregnant. It also should not be used on anyone under a physician's care for a condition that may exclude them from using certain ingredients or products or from having treatments. If you are unsure about whether it is appropriate to treat clients, ask them to obtain a physician's consent for the service. Tesla High Frequency Current The Tesla High Frequency Current, Tesla HY Frequency Current, also known as Violet Ray, is a thermal or heat. Producing current with a high rate of oscillation or vibration that is commonly used for scalp and facial treatments. Tesla current does not produce muscle contractions, and the effects can be either stimulating or soothing, depending on the method of application. The electrodes are made from either glass or metal, and only one electrode is used to perform a service. Figure 711. The benefits of the Tesla high frequency current are. Comma stimulates blood circulation. Increases elimination and absorption. Increases skin metabolism. Improves germicidal action. Relieves skin congestion. As you learn more about specific treatments, you will become familiar with the term contraindication. Contraindication. Referring to a condition that requires avoiding certain treatments, procedures, or products to prevent undesirable side effects. For example, Tesla high frequency current should not be used on clients who are pregnant. Figure 7 11 Applying Tesla high frequency current with a facial electrode. Or who have epilepsy or any other seizure disorder, asthma, high blood pressure, a sinus blockage, a pacemaker, or metal implants. Additionally, clients should avoid contact with metal, such as chair arms, jewelry and metal bobby pins, during the treatment, as a burn may occur if contact is made. Did you know? The Tesla high frequency current is named after electrical engineer Nikola Tesla, who was born in 1856 in Croatia. He moved to the United States in 1884, where he did the majority of his work on alternating current. Tesla died in New York City in 1943. Check and briefly describe three electrical modalities used in beauty and wellness services. Discuss light energy. The electromagnetic spectrum. E electromagnetic spectrum, also known as electromagnetic spectrum of radiation, is the name given to all of the forms of energy, or radiation, that exist. The forms of energy in the electromagnetic spectrum are radio waves, used by radios and televisions. Microwaves used in microwave ovens, 
Light waves, infrared light, visible light, and ultraviolet light used for light therapy services. X-rays, used by physicians and dentists, and gamma rays, used for nuclear power plants. Figure 7-12 The Electromagnetic Spectrum Did you know? Although the electric lighting in your salon, spa, or barber shop is not a form of light therapy, the quality of this light can have an effect on your work and on your client's satisfaction. Fluorescent light is produced by fluorescent lamps and may be cooler, green blue, than natural sunlight. Incandescent light is produced by standard, tungsten, light bulbs and is warmer yellow gold, than either natural sunlight or fluorescent light. Your client's hair, skin, and nails will appear more green blue when viewed with fluorescent lighting and more golden when viewed with incandescent lighting. Be careful when handling fluorescent light bulbs, they contain dangerous substances including mercury. Avoid breaking fluorescent bulbs and dispose of used bulbs properly. Energy moves through space in waves. These waves are similar to the waves caused when a stone is dropped on the surface of water. Each type of energy has its own wavelength. Wavelength. The distance between successive peaks of electromagnetic waves. A waveform. Waveform. Is the measurement of the distance between two wavelengths. Some wavelengths are long and some are short. Table 7-3. Long wavelengths have low frequency, meaning that the number of waves is less frequent fewer waves. Within a waveform pattern, short wavelengths have higher frequency because the number of waves is more frequent more waves. Within a waveform pattern, figure 7-13. Table 7-3. Long wavelengths compared with short wavelengths. Long wavelengths low frequency. Deeper penetration less energy. Short wavelengths high frequency. Less penetration more energy. Long wavelength low frequency high frequency short wavelength figure 7-13 waveform patterns of long and short wavelengths. Visible spectrum of light. Visible light. Visible lit. Is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be seen. The visible spectrum of light makes up only 35% of natural sunlight. Within the visible spectrum of light, violet has the shortest wavelength and red has the longest. The wavelength of infrared light is just below that of red light and the wavelength of ultraviolet light is just above that of violet light. Did you know? Natural sunlight is made up of three types of light. Visible light equals 35%. Invisible infrared light equals 60%. Invisible ultraviolet light equals 5%. Although they are referred to as light. Infrared light and ultraviolet light are not really light. Ultraviolet light and infrared light are also forms of electromagnetic energy but are invisible because their wavelengths are beyond the visible spectrum of light. Invisible light makes up 65% of natural sunlight. Figure 714. Infrared. Longer wavelength lower frequency more penetrating invisible. 60% of natural sunshine. Prism. Indigo blue green yellow orange red. Ultraviolet. Shorter wavelength higher frequency less penetrating invisible. 5% of natural sunshine. Fi invisible light. Invisible light. Invisible lit. Is the light at either end of the visible spectrum of light that is invisible to the naked eye. Before the visible violet light of the spectrum is ultraviolet light. It is the shortest and least penetrating light of the spectrum. Beyond the visible red light of the spectrum is infrared light, which produces heat. Did you know? If light from the sun is passed through a glass prism, a glass or plastic prism usually resembles a pyramid shape after it is cut. It will appear in the seven different colors of the rainbow. In the following order. Violet. The shortest wavelength. Indigo. Blue. Green. Yellow. Orange. And red the longest wavelength. These colors, which are visible to the eye, constitute visible light. Ultraviolet light, ultraviolet lit, abbreviated as UV light and also known as cold light or actinic light. Actinic lit, is invisible light that has a short wavelength, giving it higher energy, is less penetrating than visible light, causes chemical reactions to happen more quickly than visible light, produces less heat than visible light and kills some germs.
UV light prompts the skin to produce vitamin D, a fat-soluble vitamin that is good for bone growth and health. We need sunlight to survive on the planet. However, overexposure to UV light can cause premature aging of the skin and skin cancer. Incidence of skin cancer has reached a near epidemic level, with over 1 million new cases being diagnosed each year. It is estimated that 1 in 5 Americans will develop skin cancer, and that 90% of those cancers will be the result of exposure to UV radiation from natural sunlight, sun lamps, and tanning beds. There are three types of UV light. Comma ultraviolet A UVA. Ultraviolet A light has the longest wavelength of the UV light spectrum and penetrates directly into the dermis of the skin, damaging the collagen and elastin. UVA light is the light that is often used in tanning beds. Comma ultraviolet B, UVB. Ultraviolet B light is often called the burning light because it is most associated with sunburns. Excessive use of both UVA and UVB light can cause skin cancers. Comma ultraviolet C, UVC. Ultraviolet C light is blocked by the ozone layer. If the Earth loses its protective layer of ozone, life as we know it will no longer exist. UVC is effective at killing bacteria, viruses, mold and other pathogens. Caution. Although the application of UV light can be beneficial, it must be done with the utmost care in a proper manner by a qualified professional. Overexposure can lead to skin damage and skin cancer. UV light has been used to kill bacteria on the skin and to help the body produce vitamin D and is used in a weaker form to cure UV gel nails. Dermatologists also use UV therapy in addition to drugs for the treatment of psoriasis. Infrared light, infrared lit, has longer wavelengths, penetrates more deeply, has less energy, and produces more heat than visible light. Infrared light makes up 60% of natural sunlight. Infrared lamps are used mainly during hair conditioning treatments and to process hair color. They are also used in spas and saunas for relaxation and for warming up muscles. Infrared light has been used to diminish signs of aging such as wrinkles, to heal wounds, and to increase circulation. Did you know? We need to strike a delicate balance with sunlight exposure. Keep in mind that tan skin is damaged skin. Tanning will eventually cause photoging, premature aging due to sun exposure and irreversibly damage the skin's collagen building properties. Light into chemical energy. Catalysts. Catalysts are substances that speed up chemical reactions. Some catalysts use heat as an energy source while others use light. Whatever the energy source, catalysts absorb energy like a battery. At the appropriate time, they pass this energy to the initiator and the reaction begins. Like other chemicals, a catalyst will not get consumed in a chemical reaction. For example, in hair coloring services, hydrogen peroxide, developer, is the catalyst that allows the hair color to penetrate the cortex of the hair, creating a permanent color. In acrylic nails, the monomers used are the catalyst that solidify the nails. In the application of gel nails, the UV light is the catalyst for hardening. Light therapy. Light therapy. Lit therapy, also known as phototherapy is the application of light rays to the skin for the treatment of wrinkles, capillaries, or pigmentation or for hair removal. Lasers and light therapy devices have been used for decades, and yet, some of the original techniques are still valid today. Lasers are designed to focus all light power to a specific depth and in one direction within the skin, using the same color of light. Figure 715. In contrast, other light therapies have multiple depths colors, and wavelengths, and the light may be scattered. The most important point to remember about light therapy is that the equipment you use is selected based on the skin type and condition you are treating. Figure 7-15 Light therapy devices are used to treat a variety of skin conditions. Check and explain the difference between electromagnetic radiation, visible light, and invisible light. Electricity and electrical safety. Congratulations on completing this chapter. Before you move on, 
Take a moment to think about how these electricity and electrical safety topics apply to your particular discipline. Discuss with a classmate or study group how electrical theory might come into play on the job. What machine you are looking forward to working with. Any special safety measures you may need to take with particular services. And so on. Chapter.